All right, today we are going to be taking a look at Sketchpad 5.1 and how you can use it to um, create some uh, fun stuff, use it in math, science, social studies, or just use it to do something fun like create a birthday card. Or uh, in my case, I'm going to show you how I'm making a get well soon card for my dad. All right, um, just to show you how to get here, remember if you go to Google, and we talked about this in our lesson this week, how you can use Sketchpad 5.1. That's that free application that saves all of your cool stuff online. And we're going to use it to learn a little bit about shapes today, as well as how we can uh, use this in our fun projects. So the um, first thing we're going to do is we're going to start a new project. And we're going to do that by clicking that little plus button. And when we do, you see you have five or six, so I'm just going to be eight different choices there uh, that uh, different types of paper from a blank white paper to loose leaf paper, transparent paper, notebook, graph paper, line paper. Uh, remember, transparent paper is like tracing paper. You can see through it like a, a clear piece of plastic almost. You want to choose the size, and I like to put mine in inches because I don't know how many pixels are in an inch. And so the way uh, you do that is click that little down arrow, select I in for inches. And I know I'm going to print mine out on an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. So I want to make my card eight inches by eight inches. So I know it fits on the paper and we'll be able to print. Once you've decided what size you want and you've selected which paper, I'm going to go with that just a blank white paper. Click create and there you'll have it. Now I told you we're going to learn a little bit about shapes today or talk a little bit about shapes and how we can use them not only to create art, but think about all the fun ways in math, and science, you might be able to use shapes uh, in the uh, reports or essays you might write. So we're gonna take a look at how we can put some of these shapes into our design. So the first thing I wanna talk about, um, and if, our, if you remember from our lesson, the brush tool, these are our little five different tools, if you will, across the top here that we uh, use most commonly. The first one is your brush tool. You can draw with a pencil, or draw with a pen or paintbrush and all that stuff. And anything you don't like, you can hit that little undo arrow and it will undo it. Remember, there are lots of different brushes we talked about this week from the curve and path brushes that let you make neat curves. Uh, if you're trying to make really complicated shapes, you can use these lines and path uh, drawing tools to make it easier to draw perfect shapes. There's the eraser. You should know how that works. It erases things. Sketchy, we looked at it uh, this week. It makes the neat sketchy marks. We looked at the really cool mirror brush that you can use to make mandalas and draw in symmetry. We looked um, at the web and the spirograph brushes and even I think a little bit at that fur brush. But we're gonna look today at the second button we didn't look at during the week. And that is the shape button. And the first thing I'll look at is all the different shapes that there are available that I can choose from. And the first one I want to use is a big square because I want to make a design that kind of covers most of the back. Maybe leaves a little white outline, but covers most of the back. If you'll see, it says fill, and it'll ask you, how do you want to fill that shape? Well, I want to fill mine with a pattern. So I'm going to go over and click pattern. I'm going to look, and there are some really neat patterns. Now, um, as you can probably tell, this is small because it's on my computer, but I happen to know that I really like that pattern. And I'm going to draw my square right here, sort of in the middle of the paper almost. All right, I like it. I want to put some other cool shapes in here too, though. I, eventually, I'm going to put some words in here. So I want to make a cool shape that might have some text for me. And so I'm going to go up here and choose neat triangle. Uh, and I think I want my triangle, I think I want it to be solid color. So I'm going to pick just color. And I'm going to pick a bright yellow because it'll stand out really well against that, that bright red. And I'm going to put it just so that it goes just a little off that red and kind of lines up. I like it. It's really neat. Provides a nice straight line across the top. If I put some text, I can put it just under that and it'll look really neat. I'm going to add a circle too because I really like circles. But look at all the different shapes they have to choose from. Rectangles and polygons stars and pie shapes, radial bursts. We're going to talk about radial types of uh, balance this year, and that's a fun one to play with. 
You got spirals you can create and hearts and gear shapes. I want to go with this circle though. And when I fill it, I'm going to use something called that radial fill, which will fill it from the inside out, going out in a in what we call like a concentric uh, circles. If I do one that changes, uh, or it'll go out in a nice smooth uh, color uh, change of color, like I'm going to use here. And so I'm going to put my circle down here in the bottom right. And again, I kind of wanted to go just a little off of that red surface. I love it. I've got a really neat composition. It uses my primary colors, red, yellow, and blue. Remember, those are the three colors that all the other colors are made from. It's using some awesome shapes like square, triangle, and circle. And now I want to add some text. So I hit that T button. I'm going to draw my little, oh, first I want to do is select what my text, what's the font going to look like. And the font is What's the, how is the, how are the letters going to look? And I want it to kind of look like it's been written by hand. And I sort of like this. One. I think that's pretty neat. And so I'm going to make a text box by just drawing where I want my text to go. And when I do, it says type something. Well, I'm going to type get well. now because we don't want to wait for him to get well soon we want him well right now <laughs> and we're not patient people in our household and then down here i want to change the font and i'm going to make it something a little different i think i like this italiana that's a really pretty one and i'm going to click my text again i'm going to draw it down here and i think i want have it say, we miss you. I love it. I'm going to click out. Wow. Now I've got a really neat card. We can all sign in the little yellow area there. And my uh, stepmom can take it to him tomorrow in the hospital. Guys, I hope you've had fun and learned a little bit about how to use these programs. I show, want to show you one last thing that I'm going to put in here. And that's the clip art. I talked a little bit about this week in class, but I want to show you all the fun stuff there is that you can add to your designs. <laughs> and again, you can think about how you might use these images in different um, uh, classes for like social studies or science or math, all kinds of fun things. And so I'm just looking right now at the different, I could type in here uh, a search if I wanted something particular. And I think I'm going to put a teddy bear. So what if I put Teddy? Well, already when I start typing Teddy Bear, look at all the choices. I love that one. So I'm going to put it sort of down here in the bottom left-hand corner. Get just a little smaller. Oh, that's awesome. Look at that great Get Well card and how easy and quick it was to make. Guys, uh, enjoy using the Sketchpad 5.1. I hope you've had fun today and enjoy your weekend. See you soon.